السلام عليكم ويلكم تو نايديس اون ار تي دي ده هلا نسي بريمير ديكيشن ان كين اوف دي ورك شوب اون كونتينيو ديكيشن The United States, Russia, no evidence of collision between Russia and Trump company team. That was the headlines, and now welcome to the national news. The first subject concerning under the high patronage of the Prime Minister and Mr. the Minister of National Education today organized a reflection workshop on continuing education at the people's place. This workshop will last from March 25 to 2027. The work of this meeting on issues such as the perpetual changes in the needs of teaching profession, the content of training, and innovation related to the needs of the labor market. The open ceremony took place this morning in the presence of the Prime Minister, Mr. Abdelkader Kamil Mohammed, the Minister of Education, Mr. Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud, and several members of the government. The National Education Partner and for Miniature, an official of the inter educational community, participate in this meeting. These three days of reflection will have to contribute to the achievement of the objective of the transformative project, the education system through a new policy of continuous training. The reinforcement of capacity on the professionalization of the beneficiary personnel. This ongoing training will contribute to the improvement of teaching method through innovative practice, the use, the use of the new teaching tools and new teaching method. The Minister of Education, Mr. Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud, has emphasized the interest of this workshop of reflection, which is intended to define the contours of the continuing education as well as in its content, aim, and objective, but also in its statute and implementation strategy. For his part, the Prime Minister Mr. Abdul Kader Kamil Mohammed emphasized the importance given by the President of the Republic, His Excellency Mohammed Ghali, to human resources, which are the first national wealth to value. Hence, his call to reflect deeply the written continued education, which is, according to him, a process of learning, allowing the territory to acquire a knowledge and skills to constantly develop his professional skills to practice with more the mission interest to it. The Prime Minister Abdul Kader Kamil Mohammed received this morning the new Ambassador of the Democratic and Federal Republic of Ethiopia, Mr. Abdulaziz Mohammed Ibrahim, accompanied by his collaborator, Mr. Mekibe Mankesha. Speaking on this occasion, Ambassador Abdulaziz Mohammed Ibrahim thanked the Jewish authorities and the Prime Minister, in particular for their welcome and availability. The Ethiopian diplomat also said that the two of friendly countries enjoy a very important bilateral and multi-visited relationship as well as excellent economic integration. He also expressed his willingness to increase the bilateral relationship of the two sister to brother country and consolidate it further in all area. For his part, Prime Minister Abdul Kader Khan Mohammed did not fail to point out the extent the excellent relationship of development uh, cooperation uh, between the two of friendly countries and their economic uh, integration. He assured the Ethiopian diplomat of his uh, unwavering support and willingness to extend bilateral cooperation to promote the relationship between the two countries, uh, brother and friend. The minister concluded the interview with the diplomat with the welcome, which by uh, reiterating his assurance and support in carrying out uh, his uh, mission. It was then the turn of the Speaker of the National Assembly, Muhammad Ali Hamid, to receive the new Ambassador of the Federal and Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, Abdulaziz Muhammad Ibrahim.
The President of the Parliament wished the Ethiopian diplomacy a pleasant and successful stay in the accomplishment of his naval diplomatic mission in our country. This meeting was an opportunity for the two public figures to review the common story of the two brother people. Mr. Mohammed Ali Hamadi highlighted the exemplary economic integration of two brother countries with the finalization of a large number of mutual projects common interests for both countries and those in progress which will undoubtedly improve the living condition of Jewishian and Ethiopian population. The Prince of the National Assembly urged the Ethiopian diplomat to continue the effort of his president to further consolidate this unique point of friendship in the separation. He finally express the wish to see the president of the National Assembly make an official visit to his counterpart at the date of his covenant at the end of this interview and as a customary in with such circumstances the president of the National Assembly and the new Ethiopian ambassador proceeded with the traditional ritual of exchanging gifts before taking together the pose in the crackling and a forage of media professional. It was in a climate good brotherly armor that the meeting ended. The Energy Minister Yonis Ali Gidi shared yesterday the opening of two day workshop at the People's Place on the presentation and validation of the roadmap strategy of the energy sector. Various actors from the private and public sector participated in this workshop, including Chaburi Electricity, EDD, a delegation from the Regional Center for Renewable Energy and Energy of Events of Arab countries. The workshop will continue with the program presentation, including the RC the technical director and the presentation of EDD, the letter was based on four uh, exhibits, namely production, transport, distribution, and one list on the computer department of EDD. At the end of uh, this uh, first workshop, they came to discussion of the different uh, participants to discuss uh, the question asked uh, during uh, the intervention. The Secretary of State for Youth and Sport, Hassan Mohammed Kamil, received this morning a delegation of the Jewish Federation of Hindi Sport, the President of the Federation, Mr. Ali Mohammed Ali, the Latin Colonel Physician, and the National Gendarmerie, the Coach Sekoria, the two athletes, Phil Sanur and Ali Mohammed, in the presence of his close collaborators. Trust the delegation participated in the 50 edition of the 2019 Special Olympic Summer Game that took place in Abu Dhabi from March 14 to 21 competition in which our country won a medal. Indeed, Filsan Noor won a silver medal and Ali Muhammad won a bronze medal. The President of the Federation thanked the Secretary of State for hosting him and spoke with him about the condition and progress of the game that allowed them to achieve this performance. He also is invited to the state officially the needs of the Federation to participate in Tokyo came in 2020. For his part, the Secretary of State congratulated the athlete for the result and promised to give them all his support. A signature ceremony on capacity building on use of the geography information system was held in diplomacy on Thursday. The ceremony was signature including the development of a large scale digital topographic map of the capital in order to what a computer platform it can be with a software that allow the collection, manipulation, analysis and the modeling of the good Reference data. Representative in Jaburi, Mr. Tagawa Turu, said that this tool will be essential to monitor to the social and economic environment the mission of sustainable development goals. The Transport Secretary General say you know, has say in his speech that this tool was essential in the process of a modernization of the country in touring the digital age.
On the morning of Monday, March 25, 2018, at 9 p.m., Colonel Sekuri Hassan Eden, Chief of Staff of the National Gendarmerie Receive at the International School of Advanced Judicial Policy Practice, a significant delegation led by Adam Kolosh, the Ambassador of European Union, and including ambassadors from friendly countries, namely Germany, William Spain, Final Violent, and Berlin. The delegation was the first received at a VIP room of the where they had the exchange with the chief of state of the National Gendarmerie before enjoying the quiet tour during this one. The delegation based on the various classroom and computer room of a term of which that dedicated to the hearing of the minor and now under the judicial garden of the room. The laboratory parks of the technical and scientific policy, the simulation house, the audiovisual control and return room, the library, the maze, the cafeteria, and the in the chief of state of the National Gendarmerie Office, president of the Akron, to the ambassador of the member state of the European Union to thank them for their interest. The ambassador of the European Union, headed by the European Union representative in Jaburi, Adam Mekeleshe, then went on the, to visit the port of Dorale or DBM with its acronym. Uh, then the discussion the visitors were received at the DMB by the Director General of the DMB, Wahib Dahir. Meeting took place in the conference room of the DMB. It focused on the performance of this new port platform. The additional capability that were deployed this year by DPM to best meet the development in neighboring countries at the foreign front. The delegation to see a fashion the development accomplished in terms of port and free zone to see also the investment possibility, potential and opportunities offered by the country with a few to invest in, in various projects in Jaburi. During an interview granted today, our colleague Samantha said the project director of the authorities of the port and free zone, Mr. explained us that the tone of this meeting to the DPM MPA with the delegation of ambassador of the European Union. We regret to announce the date of Musa Hamadou Ahmed Leta Akushini at the General Hospital. Blitier, the defender Musa Hamadou born in 1947 and was the angle of our colleague Ali Gohar. He lived behind him with two window and 12 children. May Allah welcome him to his party in the Lillahi wa in the Rajaun. And now moving on to the international news and will report finds no proof of collision with Russia and Trump. Especially Council Rupert Miller's report on Russia midline in the 2016 election did not find any collision with Russia by US President Donald Trump or any of his campaign officials, according to a summary submitted to Congress. It added that Mueller did not draw a conclusion on whether Trump or anyone in the White House obstructed justice during the investigation. 
A Congress leader on the media Sunday after Miller led a report Friday, a two years investigation concluded that no one in Trump is campaigning as with it, the Russian government, according to the summary finding. However, the report did not respond it from Trump, a possible obstruction of justice. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinta Adam on Monday ordered an independent judicial inquiry into Christchurch mosque attacks, asking whether police and intelligence services could have present prevented the March 15 attack. New Zealand said by agency have faced criticism in the wake of the attack for constructing. were all Muslim and the Muslim was alleged believe that Muslims were invaded in the West Army comprehensive and will report in a timely manner. That's it for tonight's news. Thanks for watching and have a good night.